Now just imagine an application, an all-in-one application, which gave you access to hundreds and hundreds of live TV channels with a fully working EPG, the electronic program guide, but the application also contained movies and TV shows that you can enjoy across all of your devices absolutely free. Now this application doesn't require any kind of logins, no registrations, no usernames, no passwords, and for most of you, you don't need to use any kind of VPN. So all of this great content across all of your devices, absolutely free, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now the application in question is the actual Roku channel. Now, previously this application or this service was only available to Roku devices, but they now have an official application for your Amazon devices which I've now extracted and I'm able to share it with you guys. So, and I will be showing you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get this on your Amazon device and also your Android TVs. But unfortunately for Android TV devices, they have restricted who can access it. So we do have to use a slight workaround. Okay, let's open that up. Now I'm doing all of the navigation with the standard Amazon Fire TV remote control. This application doesn't need any kind of mouse toggle. And we can see that we are straight into the content. I've not created any kind of login or registration, and now we can see all of the things available absolutely free. Now, the other great thing is, as you can see here, is it does support continue watching. So if you do start an episode or a show or a movie and then exit the application, the next time you go back into it, you will see exactly what you're watching and you can then continue enjoying that content. Now we can see they have a section for new this month. So this is some of the new stuff that's been added. As you can see, lots of different things, lots of great shows, lots of movies. Then you've got some original content. So this is very similar to your Netflix originals, but obviously done from the Roku channel. Then you've got uh, characters for your kid stuff. You've got recommended section. Now lots of you will be interested in the live TV and I will be showing you that in just a second. Here you've got the trending section. I mean, just for a test, so let's say, for example, I want to, we are straight into the content. And, and it's one of the great things about these official applications that because they are official, because they've got the backing, because they've got the necessary infrastructure, they can easily handle all of the users that try to access their content. So what that really means is you can enjoy all of this content buffer free. Then you've got the popular section, TV section, family night. Now here you've got the recently added TV stuff. There's lots of new things in here. You got reality, crime, sitcom. So you can see guys for a completely free application, they really have jam packed it with lots of great free content. Now, one of the things that have changed recently is the live TV section because we can see here, if we go back to the top, not only did they show you some of the channels here, they've actually got an entire channel guide. So I can click on this, which then starts the EPG. So you can now see all of the channels and we can see exactly what's on now, what's coming on next and we can go ahead and enjoy all of this content. So let's say I want to watch this outside TV. So it should be Save the Shark. Let's click on that. And instantly we are straight into the content and that is actually a great full HD picture. And that's a big shark. Now the other thing you can do to give it a more cable TV like experience is if you're inside a channel, let's go back to the shark one. We can see now as I press down on the remote, that automatically changes to the next channel. So that also is another way you can navigate through this application, through those channels, by just pressing the up and down on the remote. So if I press up now, that should go back to the previous channel and we're back on Save This Shark. And that's working absolutely fine. Now, one thing I would recommend in this application is you go down into settings, let's click on that and scroll down where it says, do not sell my personal information. I mean, it's shocking that this is even an option, but this is obviously how these applications make their money by, you know, selling your, your data as such. So all you want to do is make sure you click on that. Do not sell my personal information. And we can now press back on the remote and we can now enjoy all of this content absolutely free, completely legally, without worrying about anybody trying to sell your data. Okay, let me now show you how you can get this on all of your Amazon devices. 
but then also how we can access it on Android TV devices. So to start the process, just head over to your settings, go over to My Fire TV, go to Developer Options, and here we have Install Unknown Apps, and make sure Downloader is set to On. And this basically means that you can install applications through this application. Once you've confirmed that, you can now press the Home key. Let's now open up Downloader, and we can now make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 534, 02 and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, let's click on that and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get the Roku channel on all of your devices. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here's some information about the application. Scroll down and underneath all of that, we'll have two links. So for the Amazon devices, you can click on this, scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will download the application directly to your Amazon 4K Fire Stick, your Fire TV Cube. Once you've done that, you can now click on install. That's now all done. Let's go back. And this message in red is very important, guys. So make sure you do read this properly. Now, if you are on a device like an Android TV device, like the Nvidia Shield or the Chromecast with Google TV, let me now show you how you can access this on that device. So here we are on my NVIDIA Shield. I'm just using Puffin TV browser, but in reality, you can use any browser. So we're on the same tutorial page. I'm now going to scroll down. And just like before, where we saw the link for the application, we can see we have a separate link here for all other devices. So let's now click on that. And this will now basically take you to the web interface of the Roku channel. So. Yes, you're doing it through a browser, but you can still access the exact same content without signing in, without any registration. I can close this box at the top here. And we are now inside the web interface in the live TV section, the family section, trending now, all of that is in here. And just for a test, just to show you that it is properly working on the Android TV devices. Uh, let's try this thing over here. Click on that and within a couple of seconds, we are straight into that content. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know you guys are always looking for more free content, more free legal content. And I do think this application or website really has some good stuff. So I'm also working on the M3U playlist for September, which will have at least 10,000 channels. So if you want to see that, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.